Okay, so these are more difficult to factor. At least I believe they're more difficult to factor. Uh, some students have a special talent for factoring by watching um, patterns and seeing patterns more quickly than others. Um, I'm going to say what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try to find a root to the problem, and then after I find the root, use long division to find the remaining factor or factors to the problem. So it's cubic, and what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to try something. So I'm going to try to see, because I'm looking at it, I could say A equals B, a root to the problem, but it seems unlikely. So I'm going to say another possibility is um, that uh, B equals 3A. There's not many combinations I could do for this. This is a trial factor, by the way. So before I go, go to long division, and it, by the way, if this does work, I would be dividing by 3A minus B, all right? Because if that's a root, this would be a factor of the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see if it works. So wherever I see B, I'm going to put 3A. You get 6A cubed minus 17A squared, and B would be 3A. I want to claim that every term is going to have an A cubed in it. Let's go to the next one. Minus 7A. Then what are you going to get? You're going to get 9 a, whoops, 9a squared, all right? And then what do you get? Plus 4 times 27a cubed, all right? So <coughs> every term has an a cubed in it, so really all I'm looking at is the coefficients, and I hope they sum to zero. If not, i got to try another trial factor. So what do you have here? 6 minus, well, 17 times 3 is 51, and then I get minus 7 times 9 is 63. That's a 9, by the way. And then 4 times uh, 27 is 80 and 28, 108. Well, I'm going to take the two positive numbers, 6 and 108, add them together. That's 114. And the two negative numbers that add together is also going to be 114. What do you get over there? Zero. So lo and behold, I found a factor. So I know that factor. And again, I know it's a lengthy process. Also, you might say it was just pure luck I got that, all right? Okay, so what I need to do is I need to do a long division now. So I'll write that down for you. So 3a minus b divided into 6a cubed. I know it's going to go in nice, by the way. Minus 17a squared b minus 7ab squared plus 4b cubed. And what do you get there? Well, it's going to be 2a squared. Right? What's going to give you 6a cubed? And then minus 2a squared b. Subtract. You get 15a squared b minus 7ab squared plus 4b cubed plus 5 a, B. What does this give you? 15 A squared B. So make sure of that. Yep, I see that. And then it's going to be minus 5 A, B squared. Subtract. And again, it's going to go in a nice number of times unless an error has been made. So did I do that right? See what happened there? Did I copy right? Oh, I see it now. I got it again. It's because it's not it's not behaving nicely. So I know there's an error somewhere. And I'll point the error I'm seeing over here. All right. Sorry about that. I'm going to get my eraser up here because this is going to be incorrect now. And again, if something's not working nice, you know you made a mistake somewhere. Minus 5AB. Let's do it again. And again, if this is not nice, I'll, I'll really know I made an error. And then you're going to get plus 5AB squared. Subtract. And repeat. That would be minus 4. 
a minus four, I'm sorry, minus four B squared. And then plus four B cubed, remainder zero, as expected. So I realize a long road, no doubt about it. I found out that this thing factors to three A minus B. And then the other one would be what? It would be two A squared minus five A B minus four B squared, all right? I'm gonna get my race route saying, I got it partially factored, which is it's a success story. Now someone says, could you go on from that? Once I get the quadratic, I could try. Now certainly we're, we're trying using finger numbers. And if I tried this over here, it'd be two A and A. And then looking at the possible combinations, it's not gonna work, all right? I'm not gonna get this no matter what I do using my finger numbers. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm not going to go factor it further. Now, here comes the problem. Right? I'm wondering, what's the other one going to factor into? Well, I'm making another assumption. And what the assumption I'm going to make over here is that this factors into 3a minus b also. Now, do I need to know this guy over here? Well, not yet. But the bottom line, before I do that, I want to see if that's true. So I'm really going to do the same thing. I'm going to plug it in to see if I get this. So you're gonna get 12, I'm just gonna put the numerical coefficients down, minus 13 times, and remember B is gonna be 3A now. So I still get the A cubed. That's gonna be 39. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't say, it is gonna be 39, but it's, it's times three, plus 21 times nine, minus six times 27. Well, this is going to be uh, 12 minus 39. Let's see, 189. And that's going to be 120 and 42, 162. All right, a lot of arithmetic, I realize that. Let me just do the positive numbers. Those two there. What does it give you? 201. Let me do the negative numbers, 201. That's indeed a factor. Now, someone says, are you going to do long division? I don't have to. And I'll tell you why. There is no way that this guy is going to factor with the same quadratic factor over here. So now I know the greatest common factor. What is it going to be? 3A minus B. Now, again, your teachers may vary over here. Teachers say, no, you get the other factor there. All right, you could. All right, you could. Now, certainly, if I were just getting the uh, highest common factor, I would just say 3a minus b now. All right? I want to go back over here. I want to show you in the notes what I've done. I've done this, and I've done this part over here. That's a 3a minus b, 2a squared minus 5ab minus 4b squared. I did the other one, but only partially. Now, someone says, well, you did it. Why don't I do it too? You probably should. You probably should get this thing by long division. What I mean by that, you take this, 3a minus b and divide it into the 12a cubed minus 13a squared b plus 21ab squared minus 6b cubed. And make sure you get what we say you're going to get, which is the, uh, this thing over here. Let me highlight that again. All right? Make sure you, I, that's not highlighting that you get this thing. All right. Now, certainly, some of you say, oh, you know, that's a really long thing you did. Um, I recognize these things and do it much quicker than you. Well, that's good. You really should uh, be able to do it faster than teachers. But the bottom line is you decide how you want to factor these problems, whether it's by using, you know, um, the rational root theorem and looking for tri trial factors or you see a pattern, whatever. All right. So I want to point out my name is Ron Bannon and my email address is Bannon, and I'll write that down for you. B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot -N U-S, all right? And again, if you have questions or concerns related to improving the document, I would appreciate hearing from you. Thank you.